Hi, I'm Hannah Lobelson. I'm a costume coordinator for Opera Australia. The marriage figure was designed by Jenny Tiramani and she is a world expert in historical dress, historical practice. What's different I suppose about her work is that unlike some designers who create a world based on fantasy or based on design and principles, Jenny's work is totally based in history and what they wore at the time. Compared to other shows there's no poppers, there's no zippers, there's no quick change sort of compromises like that. So I think for the artists and the performers there is a different feeling of what's possible with the performance and what makes that unique, I guess. Jenny also is very clear that she only will use fabrics that were available at the time. And the whole show becomes quite a study in class structure. So at that stage in Britain or in Europe, the servant class or the lower classes were using linens and wools. Cotton wasn't around and silk was only for the wealthy and those who could afford it. The servant classes were commonly in blues and browns and beiges because the dyes were easier to produce and the fabrics were, were more accessible, whereas the aristocracy could afford to spend loads of money on fabric and on dyes, so they get bright yellow colours and intense shades and much more luxurious fabrics. I think when it was made, a lot of the artists found it a bit of a surprise to be doing this period. A lot of the singers found it challenging to wear shapes and waistlines and things they hadn't worn before. But I like to think they also got into the spirit of it and that they embraced the character and embraced the time period. And it really does create an entire world on stage.